Yo, this is Gibbonator. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to deal with campers in Modern Warfare. This is a highly requested video, and I can see why. Modern Warfare is an absolute camp fest. Every single map has at least a million camping spots, so this video needs to be done. It is also very helpful for myself because I forget these tips. I've been used to Black Ops 4 and the fast paced Call of Duty where so you can just kind of run around and camping doesn't really matter. But when you go back to these old boots on the ground games, you really need to focus on these tips and remind yourself of them because I've been getting absolutely mad, just rage quitting. There were, <laughs> the other day I played for an hour and I rage quit every single game I played just because of how unplayable it was. So now I'm making this tips and tricks video to go through the tips to remind myself of what my past self used to do in the boots and the ground games so that we can start to deal with these campers and start to have a bit more fun in modern warfare before we get into the tips me and it's lukey are giving away a free copy of modern warfare so if you'd like to enter that go into the description follow the link and jobs are good on let's move straight into the tips so my first tip is that you need to slow down you need to stop running into the center of the map you need to stop just sprinting straight into the enemy spawn you need to slow it down and you need to start thinking so the worst thing you can do is when people are camping in these really big power positions is just keep running to them it's a death sentence you're just going to feed them kills they're going to get streaks and it's just going to turn into the worst game ever because they're just going to keep gaining momentum once they get their streaks you're just stuck in your spawn and you're just going to keep running to them die keep running to them die and it's absolutely horrible i've been guilty of this myself and you get so mad at it so what all you have to do is just slow down and think right what can i do to kill this person or avoid them you don't have to go to them you can choose another route so just slow down and have a think stop supplying them with kills because that's just making things first it's like throwing fuel on a fire stop that slow down think and i'm sure you'll figure something out of how to deal with them moving on this is a bit to do with your class setup so use grenades use concussions they are so helpful you get one every life or maybe even two if you've got the relevant perks on so use them this is why infinity ward have made it so that you can like you have to have a grenade and a concussion on because they know their game's unplayable unless you know how to use them so whenever you think there's a potential camping spot lob a stun into it and if you come if you uh, combine this with the perk restock which is a perk too you can regenerate those flashbangs so you can get lots of them in the game and it's really helpful so if you know there's a camping spot where people could be throw a flashbang in there if it gets a hit marker then you know there's people in there you can either then choose to go in and challenge them or say fuck that i'm going somewhere else so um also what you can do is with the grenades you can clear out a room if you know there's a room full of people or just like a head glitch whatever cook a grenade wait for it till it's about to blow up launch it over at them and then you should get a nice amount of kills or you'll make them weak which makes it a lot easier for you to take them out which is super helpful so that's the second tip moving on to the third tip we've got using your teammates as bait now this is probably the most effective uh, tip in this video so if there's anything to take away it's learn how to bait your teammates so it's a bit controversial because obviously you're using like you you know you're purposely going to get your teammates killed so well you're not purposely you're kind of risking it so what do i mean by this it's so if you know there's a spot that you're at and you're kind of like contemplating whether you should push up or not because you think there could be a camper what you do is you wait in the spot you're in and you wait for a teammate to come along and go out into that space before you if they drop dead then you know there's probably three campers just waiting there for him and you should probably turn around go back find somewhere else in the map this is like a really good thing if you're going for nuke streaks do this right at the end of the streak because you do not want to take take any risks and uh, the, the chance are that you are going to get absolutely destroyed by campers so learn how to bait your teammates out i think it's not a bad thing because like you're gonna benefit from it and because you're hopefully going to improve as a player you should be able to carry your team so the death that person's getting is going to not matter it's just going to be negated by you getting more kills so don't worry about the ethics of call of duty just have fun bait your teammate he can it's his fault if he's an idiot and pushes just use him as bait and then you can carry on killing it and get loads of kill streaks so yeah that's the third tip use your teammates as bait very effective so moving on to the fourth one is listen to call outs now 
I mean this in terms of the actual in-game callouts. So like the AI will do callouts like over by the bridge or whatever. And then if people have got microphones on, instead of mute muting them straight away, which I normally do, you can actually keep them unmuted and actually talk to them. Shout call outs out is helpful. So I recommend if you're someone that plays on your own, you have a microphone, actually talk to the people you're playing with. Just do call outs. It benefits from everyone. If everyone did that, everyone would have such a better time instead of just like chatting crap to people just like call out uh, where campers are and you can all help each other, which is obviously great because if people are calling out where people are, you can either avoid those spots in the map or you can think, right, I know a, like a cheeky route to get to this camper, so I'll use that and take them out. And obviously that's gonna help your whole team and you're all gonna do better. It benefits everyone. So yeah, give that a go. Use your microphone, don't mute people, and listen to the in-game callouts because they are really helpful. In this game, they're actually kind of broken because your player will call out and the enemies will hear it, so you actually call yourself out to the enemies, which is stupid, but that's just a whole new topic. So uh, moving on to the fifth tip, we've got watch kill cams. Now, this is such an underrated thing. Instead of, I know I do it, I always spam square or X as soon as I die. And it's like, bruh, I don't even know where I just died, but I'm just going to spam, spam the respawn. So watch who just killed you. If you don't know where you've just died from, have a look. And because the uh, kill cams are actually quite long, you could actually see how they got to where they are. And if there's any uh, uh, like vantage points that you can take to see them and get a kill on them without them noticing or sneak up behind them, whatever. It's just going to allow you to identify where they are. And then the next decision that you make is either go for them or just avoid that part of the map like it's the plague so yeah watch your kill cams don't just spam square or x because they are super helpful and can give you a lot of information about where the enemy is camping moving on to the sixth tip we've got don't get mad. And I know this is the hardest thing. You've kind of just got to accept camping. It's a play style, just like rushing, just like sniping, just like using a shotgun. It's a play style. It's in Call of Duty and it has always been in Call of Duty. Unfortunately, this year it's been emphasized a lot just because of the poor map design and a lot of other factors. So you've just got to accept it. What's getting mad going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. So you've got to just like suck it up and just like deal with it. Think about it, ground yourself, because otherwise you're gonna go back into like this spiral, you're just gonna spiral out of control and you're gonna get worse and worse and worse. And you're gonna do exactly what I did the other day, where I left one game because there was campers, I left the next game because there was campers, I left the next game because there was campers. And when you do that, you're not getting any kills, you're not leveling up, you're not having fun, just nothing's happening. You may as well just not play the game. So just calm down, it's only a game, and figure out what's going wrong and try to deal with it. Uh, go back to the tips I've just mentioned and think right am I doing these as much as I could and then I'm sure you'll have a much better time or even just go off for a bit and then come back on later when you're more refreshed and in a better mindset but just don't get mad it's a waste of energy and a waste of time now moving on to the seventh tip or is it the eighth I can't remember I think it's seventh um, this is another real game changing one it's all about using your brain. There's a common theme with all of these tips. Just use your brain, use your head. So this one is to change your route. So if you're constantly dying to a camper and you know exactly where they are, instead of going the same route to them every single time, change it up. Instead of going to right flank, go to left flank. Instead of going straight down the mid, do another route like it is very simple but you'll be surprised how many people just autopilot and don't think about what they're doing and they just spawn in and run straight to just like a random place that they just normally do and then they'll end up dying so instead pause for a minute think right i've just gone that way that's killed me so i'm gonna go this way instead and i can assure you you would do so much better than you normally do but that's it from me i will just do a quick little summary of all of the tips so the first one was to slow it down use your head and stop supplying the enemies with kills stop rushing to them just hold back and slow it down the next tip was to use grenades use flashbangs to identify enemies and to potentially wipe them out then it's to use your teammates as bait very effective tip probably the most helpful one uh, the next tip was to listen to call outs um, ai and real life people on microphones and then the next one was to watch your kill cams so you can identify where the um, 
uh, campers are and learn some more information about what they're doing there and how they got there etc um, the next one was to not get mad because it's a waste of energy and the final one was to change your routes that's been it from me make sure you enter the giveaway the link is in the description also if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe that would be great it really helps me out but yeah that's been it from me i'll see you in the next video peace